Maybe I should have gone to the Rebel. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Freedom From Government, the 200th video for this channel. Uh, today I decided to do something really special for you guys and take you to cruise the strip in Las Vegas with private tags. No license, registration, or insurance. So I sped this part up, getting to the little sign, and now I slowed it down. But uh, coming up here is the famous Las Vegas sign. I'm about to go past it right now. It'll be on the left. And it's lit up so you can't really see it very well, but there it went. And uh, we're coming up on Mandalay Bay. They have a shark exhibit and a uh, really cool uh, pool. I guess a lot of the casinos here have really awesome pools. This one at Mandalay Bay has a, a lazy river where you can raft and there's a current that takes you through the, the little, uh, around the, the swimming area. And it also has a wave pool where there's generated waves, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, even McDonald's has the glittery sign. Going up to Mandalay Bay here. And then I tried to speed up this little red light thing. You don't have to wait for all the lights. The traffic was just incredible. The gap, gas prices were not bad. It was it was 250 when I got gas in Vegas, but right before that in Prim Valley it was 325 everywhere. So I didn't get gas there. Up here on the left is Luxor. And then Excalibur comes after that. And on the right is uh, Tropicana coming up. And the MGM Grand. Sorry about that. Uh, the top view is my phone. And it just sits on the dash. And I was kind of holding it. It kind of balanced a little bit. And it kept falling just like you see right there. But I, I ended up holding it for the rest of the time after I passed the MGM. So it shouldn't be that problem anymore. So up here is the Excalibur. Um, if you've never been to the buffet at the Excalibur, don't even bother. There's better places to go to eat, and man, it was just really it was just nasty <laughs> when I went there, and I was kind of bummed that I paid like 20 bucks, I think. I almost went to the buffet at the MGM there on the right. But uh, didn't because they they wanted ID. And actually, this trip that I went to Vegas, I didn't even stop. I just kept going, and because I had to get back to Oregon, so I just cruised the strip and then kept going. Uh, New York, New York is now on the left, coming up on uh, Monte Carlo and then the Aria with uh, Planet Hollywood on the right. A bunch of stores and Magic Mile will be coming up as well. But yeah, that's there's a lot of shopping. I guess you can get some pretty expensive items. I think there's even a I don't know, pretty much whatever you want. Rainforest Cafe. I never. I never went there, but I walked by it, and it looks pretty cool. Um, man, you'd be amazed. Maybe we should count how many uh, drugstores there are on the Strip. I think that's what there is the most of. In all honesty, I think that there are mostly drugstores on the Strip. I guess they want to keep people medicated. I don't know. I thought it was kind of weird. Thank mm -hmm. you.
No lights everywhere. Planet Hollywood. It was pretty warm. I don't know, maybe 80, 90 degrees. I'm not sure exactly. There was quite a few people there. So now the Cosmo is on the left. And then we're coming up on the Bellagio and Paris and Palazzo. And eventually Caesars. Caesars is right after the Bellagio. They're on the left. But man, traffic was just crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking I should have stopped somewhere and at least got something to eat because there's so much food around here. But I wanted to make a video of the strip for you guys. So you can see it's not so scary. Look at how often I see cops. You know, there's supposed to be cops crawling all over the strip. But I didn't see any. And you see this, how I'm blocking these people from turning. <laughs> oh, I did that more than once, actually. The, another time up here, I, I, uh, they started getting mad at me. But, I guess now we're passing the, uh, or no, we're just passing the fountains at the Bellagio. And I believe right across the street is Paris. And I wanted to go in there. I wanted to try their buffet because they have a little crepe shop that I like to go to. And uh, I guess at the buffet they have all you can eat crepes. So the ones at the little shop are kind of expensive. You know, if you can pay for a buffet and eat two crepes, you pretty much covered it. See, there's a CVS, another drugstore. I'm telling you, they were everywhere. So coming up on the right is Bally's. And I think I tried to, I tried to film a little bit of the fountains because I heard them going off, but it didn't work. You can't really film them from the street, from in the middle of traffic. So... But I hear Bellagio has a really good buffet, and Caesars does too, I believe. But it's the buffet at Caesars is expensive. Um, I heard the Cosmo or the Aria has a really, really good buffet, and I want to go try that. I want to try the Caesars Palace one too. Heck, and the Bellagio one—I haven't tried any of those. I did go to the buffet at Bally's though. And it was less than spectacular. And I went to the buffet at the Flamingo for brunch or breakfast, and it was switching over to lunch, so that was cool because you kind of got to choose what you wanted to eat. They started putting sandwiches and stuff out for lunch and stuff. It was nice. That's the Flamingo, you know, right? They also have a cool nature area where you can go see a bunch of flamingos, uh, live ones. And uh, on the left there is Caesar's Palace and then the Forum Shops right after that where they have a little show. Every, uh, I don't know, whatever. And then uh, the Mirage is on the left right there. That's a pretty cool place. I think I have on my channel a video of the fire show that they have from a couple years ago, but uh, the Palazzo is on the right, I think that's where they have the, uh, oh crap, yeah, and then there was this, it's interesting because the uh, paramedics have blue lights also, red and blue, looks like they were going to Treasure Island. 
Treasure Island doesn't have the pirate show anymore. They have senior frogs or something there. And that's really disappointing because that pirate show was pretty good. I liked it. So, Palazzo's on the right. Uh, see, there's another CVS. Isn't that crazy? There's so many drug stores. And I remember going to a Walgreens or something on the strip one day when it was really hot out. And uh, even just buying a bottle of water is really expensive there. So I believe this was probably the part where I was blocking those people off. Notice how it's impossible to turn, and their light just turned, it was there, now it turned green, see that, in the bottom picture? These guys are bad, because now it's turning yellow and red, and they still can't go. Oh, man, traffic just sucked there. There's a lot of people. These guys are upset. So then coming up on the right is the wind. And I think it's called the Fashion Show Mall or something. Never been in there. But I hear they have a lot of shopping. I did go into the wind and I looked at their buffet but I saw that it was 40 bucks for dinner and I decided not to but I probably should have because I think that's another one of those really good ones too. So there were some ambulances back there that I saw. Coming up here in front of the wind there was uh, few motorcycle cops. I'm not sure what they were doing. It looks like they may have had somebody pulled over. Uh, well, I have a minute here. I wanted to thank everybody. Uh, we're past 15 and a half million views on this channel. And there are some, uh, I don't know, there's a few people I want to thank in particular. Uh, one of them is Kitty Cat on Facebook. She, her name is uh, also AKA Gabby Miles. Uh, she's been really supportive. Here's the cops on the right here. See, they got, I don't know what they were doing, but it wasn't me that they were messing with, so that's good. Anyway, I said Gabby Miles, she's in Indiana. Uh, someone else is Victor Barron. Thank you. Thanks for all you did, all you've done, all you're doing. Uh, is it Brian Watkins in, out there in Vegas? Man, you kick ass. Thank you. And uh, Kobe, Kobe Wilcoxon in uh, San Diego. You rock too, brother. And I want to give a shout out to Corey Ibe and Louis Silvestre out in LA. Keep fighting the good fight. I'll be back there uh, real soon to help you guys with, uh, with what we're trying to do. Uh, you know, I'm already helping someone out in Riverside County. Uh, they're just totally being corrupt. It's, it's really not surprising, but it's incredible, you know, what they're doing. So coming up here on the right is the Encore. And, uh, there was a really cool, uh, car coming up also. I'll, I'll point it out when I see it. It was 
some other police activity over there on the side of the street. Not sure what was going on. You know, it would be really incredibly stupid for them to put a checkpoint on this road. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Do you guys have any favorite buffets? I know that uh, Circus Circus coming up usually has a unlimited prime rib or something. Um, it's another drugstore. <laughs> oh, it is. No, it is. It isn't. There's a couple Rosses too dressed for this. That's just strange to me. You know, on the strip. They didn't have a clothing store. The fact that Denny's is there doesn't surprise me. Oh, uh, there's the Riviera. Gone forever. And then on the left is uh, Circus Circus. And I wanted to stop to get some souvenirs for people. There's a store that has a uh, cheap shirt and coffee mugs and stuff, but I just didn't stop. I didn't want to involve myself in that traffic any longer than I had to. So, right, it was really weird. They were building something, and it was big. I don't know what it was. Maybe in the casino or something. Uh, it seems like they stopped construction on it for a long time. Maybe they were zooming because it looked bad. Looks like there was more to it than there was time. Okay, here we're coming up on SLS, and I think I'm going to turn left right in front of the uh, big, biggest gift shop in the world, I guess is what they call it. But there's a stratosphere. And, uh, yeah, you guys, you can get out there and travel, and it's not that big of a deal. And even when, even if you get pulled over, usually it's just a ticket, and you don't go to jail. So... Visit my website, freedomfromgovernment.org, and my new commonlawschool.org. Learn more, and for tools and these tags that you see here, go to shop.freedomfromgovernment.org, and uh, make some videos. Remember, uh, you can't do this if your car is financed, because you don't own your car if it's financed. And... Uh, I don't, I don't think the insurance company will let you do that either. Because you have to have insurance if your car is finance, I believe, as well. But, uh, yeah, just get a cheap little car to start out with until you get comfortable. And uh, make sure you always are able to keep a record, you know, recording devices. i got three different angles here. Actually, four different angles going at once. But, uh, you know, just one is okay. As long as you got it on film... I guess I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thanks for joining me on the 200th video Freedom from Government channel. Uh, like and subscribe and stay with me and uh, keep up to date on the next 200 videos. Alright. Thanks for watching. Peace.